So you have your Google Sheet with multiple tabs and what you're looking for is the way to share just one single tab or single spreadsheet. You don't want to share the entire document, you don't want people to see all the sheets you have, but just be able to access specific tab. Let's have a look at the spreadsheet that I have to see how this can be done. This is the grading rubric that I use to grade students' project. I have three students in my class, Chandler, Joey, and Ross, and each of the students has his own tab, which contains all the rubric. So I've just checked in a rubric for Chandler, and I'm ready to send him his rubric. However, if I click on share and get my link from here, this will give Chandler access to the entire spreadsheet and therefore revealing the scores of Joey and Ross. What I really want to do is just give Chandler access to see his tab in this spreadsheet. And this is how it's done. First of all, go to File, click on Publish to the Web. From here, I need to select which tab I would like to share. In this case, I'm going to select Chandler, I click on Web Page. Under Publishing Content and Settings, I'm gonna make sure that this tick is on. Once I've done that, the final step is to click Publish. If I now copy this link and paste it in a new tab, this will take me to the specific spreadsheet of Chandler. As a student or as a Chandler, the only thing I can do really is just look at this spreadsheet. One important thing to remember is that when you generate link this way, whoever you share this link with won't be able to edit. They will only be able to view the content. Also, once you make changes to the original document, as I'm doing right now, I'm removing the check boxes from the Chandler's rubric, if I now go to Chandler's rubric and reload this page, you will see that the marks are gone. In other words, changes that you've made to the master file would automatically apply to the uh, specific tabs that you shared. Finally, I would like to show you how you can integrate this method with Google Classroom. If you're not using Google Classroom, this might not be really helpful for you. You might as well check out other content I have on educational technology. But if you are using Google Classroom, this is how you can synchronize this with your Google Classroom workflow. This is my Google Classroom with Chandler, Joey, and Ross. And what I want to do now is to use Google Classroom to share this rubric with each one of them. First thing what I will do, go to Classwork and create a new topic. Uh, let's name it Rubrics. Once the topic is created, I'll go to Create one more time, click on Material and create a rubric for Chandler. I'm going to click Add, click on Link, go to my master spreadsheet, click on File, Publish to Web, making sure that I select the Chandler's tab, Publish to the Web, I have the link already. I'll copy this link, go to my Google Classroom, copy this link here and add the link. One important step to take is to make sure that this material will be assigned only to Chandler and that's what I want. I want only Chandler to have access to this link. I'm going to deselect Joey and Ross and just leave Chandler in place. For organizational purposes, I'm going to assign this material to rubrics and click on post. The rubric for Chandler is done. Now let's do a rubric for Joey. We're gonna cre click create material, name our material rubric for Joey, jump to our master file, uh, go through the motion one more time, publish to the web, uh, select Joey, making sure we're publishing to the web, making sure the tick is in place, clicking on publish, clicking OK. Now the link is generating, I'm going to select this link, click copy and paste, jump back to my Google Classroom, click on add link, paste the link here, click on add link, make sure that I sign this link to Joey, I'm going to deselect Chandler and Ross, assign this to rubrics and click post. Now I have two rubrics, one for Joey, one for Chandler. Now let's switch to students now, to Joey and Chandler, to see what it looks like from their end. We're now looking at Chandler's view and if Chandler goes to classwork, he will see that he now has a rubric for Chandler. If I click here, this will take me to the 
spreadsheet. There's nothing I can do really but to look at my scores. I'll have a look at Joey's view. Again, if I go to classwork, I will see the same rubric, but I will only see rubric for Joey because before as a teacher, we've only assigned this link to Joey. So we've assigned Joey's tab in our spreadsheet to Joey in the Google Classroom. If I click on this rubric, this will take me to automated rubric Joey. And as, a, as Joey, the only thing I can do is look at my rubric. I cannot look at Chandler's or Ross rubric. I cannot edit mine. And this is exactly the result I want to achieve as a teacher. I want students to only be able to view their rubric. Today, we've learned how to share a single tab or a sheet in Google Sheets, as well as a couple of ways how you can integrate this method with Google Classroom workflow. Thank you for taking the time to check out my tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.